I'm scared. I'm scared that my abilities are gone. I'm scared that I'm gonna fuck this up. And I'm scared of you. I don't wanna start, but I will. This is an invocation for anyone who hasn't begun, who's stuck in a terrible place between zero and one. Let me realize that my past failures I followed through are not an indication of my future performance. They're just healthy little fires that are gonna warm up my ass. If my FILDI is strong, let me keep him in a velvet box until I really, really need him. If my FILDI is weak, let me feed him oranges and not let him gorge himself on ego and arrogance. If I catch myself wearing a tutu, too fat, too late, too old, let me shake it off the way a donkey would shake off something it doesn't like. Let me think about the people I care about the most and how when they fail or disappoint me, I still love them, I still give them chances, and I still see the best in them. Let me extend this generosity to myself. Let me find and use metaphors to help me understand the world around me and have the strength to get rid of them when it's apparent that they are no longer of use. Let me thank the parts of me that I don't understand or are outside of my rational control, like my creativity and my courage. And let me remember that my courage is like a wild dog. It won't come to me when I call. I have to go out and chase it and hold on tight. Let me not be so vain that I believe myself to be a sole author of my victories and the victim of my defeats. Let me remember that the unintended meaning that people project onto me is not my fault, nor is it something that I can take credit for. Perfectionism may look good in his shiny shoes, but he's a little bit of an ass and nobody invites him to their pool parties. Let me remember that the impact of criticism is not always the intention of the critic. But when the intention is evil, that's what the block button is for. And when I eat my critique, let me be able to separate out the good advice from the bitter herbs. Let me not think of my work as only a stepping stone to something else. And if it is, let me become fascinated with the shape of the stone. Let me take the idea that has gotten me this far and put it to bed. What I'm about to do will not be that but it will be something. There's no need to sharpen my pencils anymore. My pencils are sharp enough. Even the dull ones will make a mark. Warts and all, let's start this shit up. <laughs> and God, let me enjoy this. Life isn't just a sequence of waiting for things to get done. Oh, hi! I hope you like that. Um, that was just a small tribute to the first video blogger, as some may know him. To me, it was one of my first biggest influences, and it was Zay Frank. This is Veda. <laughs> I'm going to be making a video every day this month in April. Don't forget to like this video and add it to your favorites and tell your friends there's this new awesome guy on the internet and they should watch it. Him. I don't know. What do people do at the end of these things? Are you still here? That's awesome. I'm done. Bye.